Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today we will be talking about fake photo cards and how you can tell if they're fake or not. I do have a set of fake photo cards and a set of the real equivalents. One of them I don't have the actual equivalent to. Um, we'll go through that later. I did have some people reach out to me and send me some fake photo cards that look kind of real from first glance but they're actually fake so I thank you to those people that have sent me these fake photo cards so I can film this video <laughs> so yeah um because all of the photo cards I own are real I thank you so much to anyone that has sent me fake photo cards for me to film this here are my two piles right here one of them is the fake pile and one of them is the real pile so we will um sort them all out oh it doesn't fit <laughs> So it unfortunately doesn't really fit perfectly on frame, but that's okay. By looking at these two sets of cards, do you think you can tell which ones are the fake ones and which ones are the real ones? I guess I'll let you answer that in your head right now. <laughs> um, but the top ones are the fake ones and the bottom ones are the real ones. Good job if you answered correctly. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you noticed, the Kyungsoo card is the only one that's different. The fake one is the Chinese one and the real one is the Korean one. I do actually have the Chinese one. It just... I bought it a while ago, but it still hasn't arrived. You know, this quarantine, it's slowing down the mail, so I'm really, really sad it didn't arrive for this video, but I do have his Korean version. I also brought over here another Chinese card so I can compare the back to the fake back one, but anyways, so I guess we'll start off with the Tao cards, so I'll just like compare them. Okay, you know what? <laughs> we might have to move all these cards out of the way. So we'll start off with the Tao Exodus card. This is uh, the Korean version of Exodus. Can you tell which one is the fake and which one's the real? <laughs> I'll turn the backs. There is something different on the backs. Even the fronts look pretty similar, but as you can see, the coloring is definitely off. And that is something you can definitely tell if the coloring looks off. It also looks a bit more blurry on this one. And another big thing you can tell is if you see those little white specks at the bottom. As you can see here on this towel card, those little tiny white specks. Yeah, if you can see those, you pretty much know it's a legit card. The specks are usually either on the very corners or sometimes they can be like right in the middle, like here and here, not exactly on the corners. Sometimes they are in the middle, but if you do see the specks, it most likely is a real card. And so just comparing the two, when I put them together like this, the person did a really good job at creating this fake card because the size is pretty much the same it's very very similar so that makes it a little bit harder to tell if it's real or not mainly if you don't see the specs like this one you see no specs there's absolutely no specs at all on this one so that is like a dead giveaway so pretty much uh, the only difference between the two is the coloring i know it's really hard to tell if it's real or not with the coloring if you don't already have the card if there's no specs it's most likely fake and plus on the back the actual Exodus cards don't say Exodus down there at the bottom, they just say not for sale, and then that link down there to SM Town. So, yeah, and also the backs are a little bit off in color. The official one is much more lighter in color, like it's a much brighter white than the fake one. It's more of an off white, so that is comparing the two Tao Exodus cards. Next is the Kyungsu Love Me Right card. So, I unfortunately only have the a Korean version for his and the fake one is the Chinese but we'll just compare the fronts for now so um, well it's kind of hard since I don't have the exact equivalent to this card you can see the specs on this one there is no specs on this one and the size let's see oh it's a bit off the fake one is a bit smaller doing it on the side like this you can see how much thinner it is. You had obviously probably pulled one from your album, so definitely compare the one you bought to the one you pulled from your album and compare the size like this. If it's obviously a bit smaller, then you'll know it's fake. That's comparing the backs here, but I'll grab my Kai one to compare the backs. The fake one is so much more darker, I guess. The, it, the color isn't as vibrant as the real one. That's comparing the backs. And they both say the same exact thing on the bottom, but it's just totally off. It's much smaller in size. That just compares those two. I'm sorry, I'm like really bad at explaining. <laughs> Next, we'll compare the Kyungsoo Sing For You cards. So actually the fake one, which is, do you think you can tell? 
you probably can. So this is the fake one. This is the real one. The fake one is actually the Chinese version and the real one is the Korean. But I do have a real uh, Suo Sing for you, which is the Chinese version. So we can compare the backs for that. But just looking at the front for the Kyungsu cards, you can really tell here the fake one is super grainy compared to the real one. Look at like, if you look at his thumb, it's like super grainy. And comparing it to this one, it's much more clear. I don't know, in my eyes it is. Like, if you look at his whole hand, it looks so much more clear than the fake one. I don't know, that's just me. Like, you can see details a bit more clear. And his black outfit is more like, it just seems more blurry. Like, oh, sorry. If you think the coloring seems a bit too light, then it's most likely um fake the real cards tend to have very vibrant colors more it's like it pops more it's more clear his face just seems so much more gritty than the real one and then the backs this is the real one this is the fake one also it seems much more thicker the fake one see you can even see on the sides here that the fake one which is this one this one it just looks thicker than the thin one and it feels thicker it just feels cheaper as well, even though you you would think thin feels more cheap, but the thick one really does feel more cheaper than than the real one. It just, they, they definitely have different feels, and I don't really know how to explain it, but another dead giveaway is the um, dots. Sometimes they're really hard to see, but see you do see the dots there on the corner. That is a dead giveaway. This one has zero dots. Let's compare the size. Oh yeah, much off. <laughs> it's very much off. If it seems thinner, most likely is fake. And let's compare the black backs. Yeah, so, oh, you, that is a dead giveaway. It's so much more of a lighter black than the official one. It's a pretty dead giveaway. Also, the this stuff at the bottom here, it's much more further down than the real one. There's much more space at the bottom on the real one. Anyways, that was... Um, comparing the sing for you cards next we'll compare these kyungsu for life cards obviously i feel like it's such a dead giveaway on which one is the fake and which one's the real this one right here is the fake this one is the real his skin color is so much more darker than it is on this card it's just it seems more just the coloring they they definitely darkened it a bit on this one in the other cards the fake ones were more lighter than the real one but this one they like the color just seems off like it's really red around his nose and his lips it just seems really off and his eyes it's like all red and weird yeah even around his hairline it's all red they definitely made the color tone more warm than it should be so that's comparing the fronts and then here's the backs as you can see it's so much more gritty i don't know like you can see like little dots on the fake one compared to the real one it's completely blank just looking at the not looking at the writing, just looking at the white background. On the fake one, you can see like little black bits on it. I don't know if that's making sense, but you can see the grittiness on the white parts. And on this one, it's completely clear. That's comparing that. Um, oh, and it's totally cut off there. It is still kind of cut off on the real one, but that's, it's supposed to be like that. This one is super cut off. It's pretty much cut off on all of the lettering. That's not a good sign. <laughs> if it's really cut off like that, then you know it's been like cut really bad so it's obviously going to be a bit thinner yep it's more thinner than the real one the top one right here is the fake one bottom is the real so that's a dead giveaway the fake one the not for sale is much closer to the edge than the original and the exo sign oh just comparing <laughs> yeah it's definitely not looking right also the edges are cut very badly it's like completely straight and then it stops and then it curves here it's like it's nicely um cut around the corners here this one isn't it's like it ends here you can see i'm explaining that really badly but i think you know what i mean so that's comparing these two and next we have the don't mess with my tempo cards this is schumann's so yeah <laughs> dead giveaway the fake ones are much more rounder like the corners are much more rounder usually exo cards tend to have um round edges but this is way too round <laughs> and the color is off it seems much smaller and it is <laughs> Ooh, it seems a bit taller though 
yet it's slightly taller. It's taller and thinner, which is very weird. <laughs> That's the front, and then the back, yes, look at that. The back on the fake one is more gray, and the real one is more silver. That is, like, this is the most fake, like, this, it's like this one they didn't even try. <laughs> these ones they didn't even try. You know, you can tell these ones have the specs on them. These ones don't. Feels very cheap. <laughs> yeah. Also, the message is different. I'm pretty sure that the fake ones that were made for a Don't Mess In My Tempo here that I have, I have three for Don't Mess In My Tempo, as you saw. The They're all the Korean versions, but this Shuman is from the American version, so um, I explained before that the American version cards actually have different messages on the backs of the cards. They're the exact same on the front, but the messages are different. That's why the messages are different. That's because this is the American card and this is the Korean card, so I don't have the Korean card because I traded one of my cards and they had the American, so <laughs> anyways, but yep, that giveaway. Don't really need to go through this anymore. Next, I have Kai's. This is the black back one. This one should be fairly obvious as well. Sizing is different. Coloring is way off. Um, yeah, coloring is not like super off compared to the Schumann, I feel like. Oh, well, no, his skin is a bit more darker in this one, I feel like. Yeah, and the backs... Oh yeah, so you can tell it's much more gritty. As you can see, the, the detailing around this like little design right here is much more sharper on the real one, and this one it's like, it's kind of like blurry almost, comparing it. Yeah, it's much more blurry on the fake card. Like the even the lettering here, blurry, not sharp at all like the Korean, and the black is much more of a lighter kind of a black. <laughs> It's fairly obvious, and the messages are different. This one is also the American, this one is the Korean. It's fake, but they replicated the Korean. And then we have the last Don't Mess Up My Tempo card, Beckens. This one's the fake, this one's the real. Coloring is off, it just seems grittier on this one. It's smaller, comparing the size. Yep, it is way smaller. It, the edges are too rounded, no specs. And this backhand, by the way, is the Korean version card because I bought it on eBay, so the messages are the same on this one, but look at the backs. <laughs> the real one is more gold and the fake one is more brown. Yeah, they, it was. I guess it was hard to replicate the backs for these because they're so pretty. <laughs> it's super gritty at the top here again, just like the Kai card. This is nice clean back. And this one has the specs on it. This one has no specs. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like the Don't Mess With My Temple cards, they barely even tried with it. <laughs> so that's comparing Beckin's cards. From far away, it does look kind of real, like from really far away, it looks kind of real. But yeah, it's not. <laughs> and very lastly, we have this Kyungsu Love Shot photo card. Mm, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad, actually. The fake one. <laughs> uh, you can probably tell which one's fake and which one's real. This one's fake, this one's real. Dead giveaway is the specs. You can easily see the specs on this one. This one, there is no specs. Let's see the size. It is smaller. Yep, it is smaller and taller a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit taller. Yep, it's taller than the original and it's thinner. Um, the fronts are not bad when it comes to the color. It is a bit off, but the coloring is not bad. His green shirt is a bit more brighter on the real one, but it seems pretty. Oh, and this one has a bit of dirt on it. <laughs> but um, the coloring is not bad, but the size is a dead giveaway. Just compare the size to your original one that you pulled from your album, and you should be able to tell. But the back is like the biggest giveaway. It's much more uh, just blurry. It's not crisp and clear like the real one. It, even the lettering where it says love, it's, you know, you can see it's just blurry. That's the biggest giveaway. The lines are blurry. I think that should be enough. That is pretty obvious. But that was everything. I just wanted to add this in the video. So there is such thing as different press photo cards. And I one time freaked out about this because I thought I bought a fake photo card. But it was actually just a different press. So I have these two. I know I only have really exo photo cards because this is just from past experience. But I have these two Love Me Write cards. So this Beckhan was the one I pulled from my album. And I bought the album like around the time it came out. So this is definitely a first press card. And this is what it looks like. And then a bit later, I bought this Chanyeol card on eBay. 
The seller is legit and they had great reviews and the card looks legit, but the reason why I thought it was fake was by comparing the backs. So this backhand I pulled from my album. It is slightly different when you look at the bottom. The banner at the bottom, it's thicker. Zooming in really, really, really close. I'm trying my best to make sure they're lined up properly. But the banner seems a tiny bit thicker on the backhand card. And so that's what made me think I bought a fake channel. And it's also, let me just zoom back out. It's darker in color. So that's what made me think that it was a fake card but there is such thing as different press because everything else about this channel card is legit it has the specs right there right there right there and right there and just comparing everything else it looks legit the sizes are the exact same everything fits perfectly it's just, you know, this channel card, or this channel card just came out a bit later than the backhand card, and so, you know, coloring will, will be a bit off. I can also compare, if I have these two 17 cards, they're both legit cards, they're the same size, same size, and they both look completely legit, which they are, and, but if you turn the back around, you can see the colors are a bit off. This one is much more, looks more gray than brown. The coloring is definitely off, and you know what? Don't let that, like, concern you, because especially when it comes to the and ode cards, the coloring is not always the same. I don't have any explanation as to why they turn out to be different colors, but it just happens to the and ode cards, so don't let that, um, like, concern you, because... It most likely is different press or just something like that or I don't really know. Or it could just be a manufacturing error. That's just comparing these two and ode cards from the poet. I tried my best to like show comparisons. I'm pretty sure it's very, very, very obvious on how to tell the differences between SM photo cards. I only have um, fake EXO photo cards. So if you want me to make a second part of this with like other groups cards, definitely let me know and maybe I'll have to go and buy some fake cards on eBay or something or if you have some fake like Stray Kids or GOT7 or 17 cards just let me know. You can send them my way or something and maybe I can make a video. I hope this made sense and um, I hope it was helpful and let me know if you have any other questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them. But for now that was everything and I will see you guys next time. Bye!